modding Beat Saber. For many users, this is the main reason why they play Beat Saber in the first place. Modding just makes it so much more fun. Custom songs, custom sabers, amazing new visual effects and gameplay modifications, all available through Beat Saber modding. And now you can mod your Quest version of Beat Saber directly in your VR headset. Since I've started my YouTube channel, I've made more than a dozen Beat Saber modding tutorials, and there's always needed a PC at some point of the process, but now, I think for the first time ever, However, you do not need one and you can do all the modding and downgrading directly in your headset with the help of several tools that you can get from SideQuest. SideQuest VR is an amazing platform with thousands of different VR apps that are not available on the official store. And if you don't have SideQuest on your headset yet, you're definitely missing out. So if you don't have a PC, just find a friend or a family member with a PC or a laptop, install the SideQuest VR app on your Quest and you will only need to do that once. And after after that, you will have all this huge collection of apps directly on your Quest too. I will attach a link below describing in detail how you can install it on your Quest. And seriously, as a Quest 2 owner, this is the best decision that you can make for your Quest. And I will continue this tutorial assuming that you already have a SideQuest VR app installed on your headset. Modding Beat Saber will require several steps, namely downgrading your Beat Saber to a lower version patching your Beat Saber, which will basically make it modding friendly, and actually modding it or installing custom songs. But let's talk about downgrading. Why do you need to downgrade your Beat Saber to a lower version? Beat Saber gets updated very frequently, pretty much any time a new song pack gets released. And every time the game gets updated, the modders need to do a lot of work to adapt every mod to work with this newer version. Making all these mods compatible with the new version is a very hard and time-consuming work, then that's why it is safer to downgrade your Beat Saber to a version that has the largest number of mods compatible with that version. We'll talk more about this later, and now let's get started! First, start SideQuest VR. We will need to install two apps from here. The first one is called Quest App Version Switcher, and second is called BMBF. You will need to install them both, and you will see them in your library under the unknown sources. First, we will run Quest App Version Switcher. We will use it to downgrade our Beat Saber. In this app, we need to select the Beat Saber app first. Click on Change App and find com.beatgames.beatsaber and click on it. Next, click on Get Mods and then Open Beat Saber Mods page. You'll be able to see the list of all mods compatible with each version of Beat Saber. At the moment of this recording, the version that has the largest number of compatible mods is one 25.1, but keep in mind that by the time that you are watching this video, it might be a much later version, so just check the list of compatible mods before downgrading. Okay, so today I'll be downgrading my Beat Saber to 125.1. Clicking on the downgrade button will show you in these big letters that first you will need to log in in Tools and Options tab. Go there and click on the Login button. It will take you to the Meta website where you will need to log in with your Facebook or Meta account. This is a security measure that's made to confirm your ownership of the account and the Beat Saber game on your account to prevent piracy. And it will prompt you to create a password, which will be used only in this app switcher to encrypt or, in other words, to protect your login information. So put in whatever password you'd like, click on Confirm Password, and when you go back to Tools and Options tab, you'll see this line telling you that you are now logged in. Yay! Now you can go to the Downgrade tab. Make sure that Quest System option is selected. In front of the Beat Saber game, click on Details. And here scroll down until you find the version that you need. In my case it's 125.1. Click on Download, enter your password that you've just set, and start download. Now it's added to your downloads and you can check the status by clicking on the Download Progress. It will take a couple of minutes, so just be patient. And once it's finished, click on Backup. Here select your downgraded version and click on Restore. The way this will go is it'll essentially uninstall your current version of Beat Saber and install this new downgraded version that you just downloaded. Follow the prompts that you can see on the display and once it's finished, you can start the game to check if you have the correct version of Beat Saber installed. It will be shown right here in the footprint. 
And now we need to make our Beat Saber mod friendly. In other words, we need to patch it. We will do that with the help of BMBF that we installed from SideQuest earlier. Start BMBF from the unknown sources. You will see the confirmation of the Beat Saber version installed in your quest and simply follow all the prompts shown on the screen. This process will also involve uninstalling your game, but don't worry, your downgraded version will be preserved and substituted by the patched version, which you'll be able to mod and install custom songs to. If you see this, this window, click on Wait, do not click on Close app. And when you see this window, click on Close, do not click Restore. Also, don't open the game yet, click on Done. If you've had previously installed BMBF, you can click on Sync to Beat Saber in the top right corner, which will bring your old songs and mods back. Otherwise, head to the Mods tab. Here you'll see quite a few mods marked as core mods. Those are the ones necessary for the patched game to run correctly. If you see them, good, you're doing everything correctly. BMBF is great for searching for and installing custom songs. Clicking on Beat Saver will open a large library of custom songs of different genres and difficulties to search through. You can download them from here or even directly in the game. I have a separate video talking about all the options to download custom songs and even creating custom playlists. Make sure to watch it next. However, to install mods, we will go back to our app switcher. In the app switcher, go to Get Mods and open Beat Saber Mods page. Here, choose your game version, in my case it's 125.1, and browse away. Once you see a mod that you like, simply click on Download, and it will automatically appear in the game. A few mods that I would recommend are Slice Visualizer, that literally will visualize the accuracy of your block slices, third-person mod that will allow you to play and record yourself in third-person and even have a moving camera. There's also a mod that will allow you to change the thickness of your sabers, like make them super thin or super thick. Another important one is Beat Leader, which will create a leaderboard for custom songs. All these mods will have their own options implemented in the game, so you'll be able to change their parameters directly in Beat Saber. And a few of these mods, namely Chroma, Noodle Extensions and Mapping Extensions, allow you to play custom maps with outstanding visual effects needed for certain custom songs, but I talk about them more in my other video, made specifically for custom songs in Beat Saber, so make sure to give it a watch. There's also a Cosmetics mod which will allow you to install custom sabers, blocks and walls, but as of now this mod is a bit unstable and may cause your game to crash, but if you're curious give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and check the links below for more Beat Saber tutorials.